All right, so how to create water in Unreal Engine 4.26. Water is a big topic that is recently coming out and many people ask how you modify the water, how can you create it, how can you start with the new Unreal Engine water system. So we are going to take a look at that now in this quick video. So the first thing you need to do is to go to plugins and search for water and make sure you have the water plugin enabled. Click here and then when you click it you will just need to restart your engine. I already have it so no need to do that again. And the next thing I need to do is just to create a landscape because the water system is dependent on the landscape. So I just go here, landscape, click enable edit layers and then I'm just going to create. As you can see I have my landscape here and now I just can just go to place actors, go to water and grab the ocean here. You can grab the ocean. And now what you see here is you have the water here and what's going on with your terrain is that it's having a profile here. It's like a very smooth profile just like in real life you have like your shallow water and then goes into the deep into the ocean and the fur you get gets darker you go up start noticing more things so the first things first if you want your water your or your terrain to get more space you just need to move this part basically it's it works like if it was in reverse of what you're creating anything that is outside this plane will be water and of course it takes a considerable amount of chunks here because your terrain only lasts here but the water will go even longer so make sure you can expand your terrain as much as you as much as you want in case your ocean is taking a lot of things so the other thing you need to do here is maybe you just want to modify the water and Let's say you want to add a river, you can add the river like this and modify the spline just just by doing that. Just put it put in a river here. And maybe you want to have a lake, you can put a lake here. And you can do the same operations with all these things. All of them work the same. Alright? So what we want to do is to modify the ocean a little bit. So we don't have the same water system every time. As you can see here in my properties, I have my my curve settings, which is basically what is affecting my terrain. So if I change this one, let's just say I want to go here, and I'm going to copy this to my test folder, copy, and then in my test folder, I'm going to name it new curve, so if I want to put my curve here, well, what I need to do is basically this is my profile for my shallow water. Let me just click here, add key, can put something like this. Let's put it very stream here. All right. Okay, so we save it. And you can see how our terrain has got into the new shape that is basically our new curve. It goes flat, then goes up, then goes down, goes up, goes down, and then goes up again. And in this case, you can see that here goes down, goes up, goes down, goes up, and goes down. So if you want to change the shallow water, you just need to have maybe a smooth curve like this. Maybe you can delete some keys here. Maybe you can have something like this, where you can have like the very flat here and then you just go poof down all the way just like this right this is like shallow water hey let's go to the ocean and whoa what happened here all right so be careful that this profile can really break your your profile curve so make sure you don't have anything to stream here and most likely you want to play the game again compile just to make sure it blends nicely with your environment. Alright, so let's go here to our curve, then go back to our previous curve. 
here if you click none by default you have something like this so the next thing is that we have these different blend modes like min max and that kind of thing you can blend between the alpha and this mostly will affect your terrain where you have something here but i want to start changing this so the first thing is the noise we check our terrain we have fairly even distributed ocean and you can change the curve you can see like this the curl amount and then the curl too you can get something like this so you can get more variety on your ocean you don't have just this simple curve that you had before that's one thing and then the other thing is the blur the blur radius you can put like 50 500 you can see how it blurs like the terrain here you can go back to two remember this all affects terrain settings so also you have the displacement here I'm not sure if this is gonna work because oh yeah so <laughs> this is your basically your terrain and you're putting your displacement here you can put a noise here uh, maybe this one who knows then go to 200 maybe not all right okay so you can see like the displacement here is affecting more for the shoreline if I remove this tiling you can see that it removes the noise that's one thing and then of course you have the smooth blending so you have the inner let's put a crazy number here 1000 so inside it will blend more with your environment so if I continue this number up, I will blend outside and then outside I have my outer blend so basically it's just that here you go you can see how it can affect your terrain here all right so let's keep let's keep going and there are a lot of options here and these are basically the same options that every terrain have and if you want to know more about the terrains the landmass plugin check out the other video i will put it in the description below so you can have a look at how the terrain works but let's focus more on the water now you can see here that we have a special type called wave and this is the water waves asset reference so basically what it is 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 an asset that we can create so if we check where this is um, let's click here greater wave and you can see that my wave have changed it and these are let's just say this is a profile for your wave this doesn't affect the material it's just the displacement that is going on here so let's create one let's let's create one let's go to our test folder click water and water wave and this is my new profile and let's just put our new profile here all right so just put here make sure you have water wave as a reference otherwise you will use this one which is basically a preset or we can create a new one and you can put it here so you can see we had that it fall one and if you put it here and let's save right let's go to the test so here you can open the profile and you can see you have this this menu here for the profiles you click this one and you can have different kinds of properties here and I will, will not go to all of them but just the most important ones feel free to play with it for example number of wave like 500 you can have more wave here of course if you put a bigger number it will break your thing have like 6 2 maybe 15 you can add the randomness to it you can change the seat this is basically a noise if you're familiar with the noises basically the terrain is using a noise and um, modifying the noise in real time so it gives the appearance that it moves using some calculations there so this is the wavelength for example i want to put this you can see the wave are 
way longer can even put this one here so you don't have the smaller ones then the amplitude the amplitude is basically the height of the terrain it will modify it so you can see they have put like 1000 just getting very crazy very cool if you want to do some stuff um, if you want to do some more realistic stuff be careful with this number but basically it will amplify the height of the ocean and then the minimum here of course how low it can be you can change the direction where this one goes the angular speed which is basically the rotation around this one uh, of course you can keep trying many different settings but these are the most important ones this is how you create a different look like bigger wave or whatnot so let's take a look at the other thing is the water material and the water material the easiest way to create a new one is if you click here you will see I'm in my engine plugins folder so I will just go here and copy and I will copy my water ocean material this is my new my new ocean and I will put it here and nothing has happened because it has the same properties but if I open this you will see all this huge list of properties you can change in the material and you can change many things and of course I will not through go all of them some of them are very specific but let's check the most important ones so let's start with the with the color with the opacity let's check the opacity mask we put like a hundred minus 500 so this will be your opacity mask for the for the water and then check the water shading the albedo map you can change like the color the color of it and the refraction you can change the refraction you can see how if I change the refraction here to a very high number and you can see this is refraction far and this is the close one so if I change like 0 0.2 let's check our default value so if I change like 5 you see very crazy 0 0.1 Feel free to play with the values you can really have really nice results and also the refraction for from this dist far distance like 2 0 0.1 like any it's basically a blending between the camera All right so there is one last more thing here and this is first of all the distance for the water the distance of the normals and you can see that the normal strange like the distance is 0 0.3 if I increase the number like 50 you can see that the normal amount increase and then you have like the default near water scale 1.24 uh, 428 you can see it becomes bigger and bigger I can also put this number very low like 64 you can see the tiling that like basically the texture that is moving here is basically much more smaller so if I increase this one you can get a much bigger wave 124 of course the strength of it like a 200 let's put a crazy number you can see that my normal maps are getting a little bit crazy so just just play with it just play with it until you get something like that more fits your needs and in other thing and let me see if I can find it here's the caustics if I click the caustics you will see that my engine is compiling the shaders basically what it will do is add another level of realism to your ocean and what it does is add your caustics and if you don't know what it is you will see in a moment it's this very bright spots that you can see in the reflection oh, in the sun and uh, it's really nice it's really 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 nice and you can see it's actually enabling in the wave so let's see where it compiles you will see how it looks and this is one of the most amazing features I've found in the water system it truly it truly is all right five two there you go and you can see here now I can see my caustics let me disable them you can see no caustics and here my caustics you can see a really shiny reflection here it's very 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 cool very 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 cool let me put my defaults here 
see more see these shiny reflections here that goes around here it's very realistic very realistic and it's very 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 cool so this is basically how you modify your 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 water feel free to play with the settings I will keep playing around here for a while if I can find something like this is the color global parameter the absorption and notice that this is only affecting the ocean I guess that if we go here and this may be only for caustics but you also need to change the material for this one like the material river so make sure they blend nicely let's go here the foam emissive where is my all right there we go my absorption okay click make sure you click on okay otherwise you won't see the changes you want something like this very dirty water I don't know who will swim here but anyway so this is a quick overview of the water system the most basic parameters and you can really change it in many 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 areas so if you like this video give us a like subscribe click ring the bell so you can watch any video any any time we put a new video uh, we try to post tutorials more often so if you have any tutorial in mind just just let us know and we will see you in the next one bye